Hello everybody and if you are new to my channel, I am Sonia, Nan with the Backpack. I have been traveling for the last 12 months and I am just about to embark on year two. And I thought, because last year I didn't do a packing video, I thought I would do one this year. This is the backpack I took last year, which is my Eagle Creek Global Companion 40 litre backpack. Unfortunately, they don't make this specific one anymore. I was going to upgrade it, but to be honest, I get on so well with it. I am also going with my solo bum bag, which <laughs> me and this bum bag have been through a lot. It is a little worse for wear. Some of the insides is coming adrift a little bit, but I haven't found one that I like any better than this. So Christiane from Backpacking Bananas, thank you very much. And I'm still loving my, back, my bum bag. Um, and my other one, which is new for this trip, the bag isn't new for me, but last year I brought a bigger bag. This year I am completely scaling down everything. All of this fits in to this, not my bum bag, but this bag actually fits inside this one as well. So yeah, I'm really scaling down, but I wanted two backpacks because when I get on a plane or a bus, this one will either go up on the top level or it will go underneath the bus. And I don't want my laptop and my valuables going under there. These I want to have on me. So although they do fit in this bag, as I'm traveling around, I will have the two bags so that I can keep my valuables on me. So that's enough of me rambling. Let's jump straight in to the packing video. Okay, so now I'm going to show you in depth what is in my bag. I've got a small first aid kit. It's in a clear pouch, but there's just plasters. I've got Imodium, I've got Paracetamol, I've got vitamin B tablets. I've got a few sleeping pills as well because my sleep right now is terrible and once in a while I need a little bit of help. I have my matador towel which I would use for a beach or if I'm going away for a few days on a small trip. This last year was amazing. New for this year is my small towel. This is what I bought in a market in Thailand and I love it. I use it as a hand towel. I use it to dry my hair off with. I use it to dry my body off when I get out the shower so my main towel doesn't get too wet because this is a lot easier to dry than my large towel, which again is different. Last year, I brought the microfiber small towels. Now they were really good because they were small and flat and lightweight, but I just felt all they did was smear the water around my body. They didn't dry me. So this year, I've got a big towel and you put it on like a little outfit. I bought this little towel because I can then get out the shower, put it round me and walk back into the dorm room completely covered with no worry about the towel slipping off and flashing everybody in the dorm room. So, and also as soon as it touches you, it dries you and it's, it's so beautifully soft as well. My sun hat. This is the one from MacPack, which I bought in Australia last year. It is definitely coming with me. I also have my dry sack from Offspray. It folds up very, very small. I do my washing in this. I fill it with water and I put a little, the little paper wash leaves, I put one of those in. It's just a six litre and as you saw, it rolls up so small. I wouldn't be without it, especially if I'm going somewhere in water and I've got my phone with me or a camera as well. This is worth its weight in gold. 
I also taking my Cressy mask and snorkel because when I go back out traveling, I will be doing some more diving and I will be doing some more snorkeling. And I've just put in here a little mini microfiber towel. And also on this side, this is where my laptop bag does fit. So if I'm just walking from A to B, rather than carrying two bags, I will just put everything in here. Right, let's move all this out the way. The second side. In here, I have got two bikinis. These are my clothes. This is all of my clothes. One bag. Last year, I had two clothing bags. I had one for tops and one for bottoms when I started out. I then changed it one for city and then one for when I went to the islands. But I had so many clothes. So this year, one bag. And let's have a little look what's inside. Clothes. I am taking my scarf, which I bought in Laos last year. I've got a new item which my daughter Samantha gave me which is a little greeny blue play suit. I like it. <laughs> I'm also taking a few pairs of shorts and I have a pair of elephant shorts which I bought in Thailand last year as well. I'm also taking my little summer dress which to be fair it folds up to nothing. It's just a great beach piece. I've got my full moon party t-shirt and that again for beach. So I've got two kind of beach outfits that I'm going to take with me. I have got a white shirt. I have got exactly the same one in black but I'll be wearing that on the plane. I have got my long black shirt, which I bought in New Zealand last year. I'm going to take my little shirt, which I bought in a market in Chiang Mai. I've also got a very thin sports racer back shirt. And of course, my green dress, which I bought in Thailand. And there's one other dress. <laughs> and everyone says it's my nan with a backpack dress. And it is my green spotty dress that I bought in Australia. And this is from Billabong. So I will be taking that as well. I've got a couple of other things, which is my new Nan with a backpack t-shirts, which I bought. I've got this one in cream. And I also have a grey one, which is bigger, which I'm going to be wearing as my pyjamas. I have a very small bag with my underwear in. I have 10 pairs of pants, one little ankle sock, because in all honesty, last year I just didn't wear socks at all. I also have three bralettes as well. I have my little collapsible shopping bag. Last year I took two, this year just the one. My Sea to Summit wash bag. I did do a review of this bum bag with my daughter. If you want to have a look at that, check the video out. I will put it up here somewhere, link it to it. I will also go through this in a separate video if you want to see what's inside my wash bag or comment below let me know so let me tell you what i'm going to wear on the plane i'm going to start off with elephant pants a little cami top white shirt and then my fleece jumper just from primark because last year i bought a puffer jacket with me as well and apart from when i was in new zealand right at the beginning of my trip i carried that jacket around the whole time and never once wore it so this time I'm just not going to take it. My small electronics bag is the Konkin laptop bag. I was going to get the classic, but for me personally, the separate laptop sleeve is just a game changer. Really worth the extra for that. I'm not going to go through what I've packed in it, 
because I'm going to do that as a separate video as well as my solo bum bag. I will also do that as a separate video. So if you're interested in either of those, check out. I will put the links in the description below. While packing my bag, you might have noticed that I didn't include any shoes. I think I'm going to definitely take my hiking sandals because they were really good. These are the zero shoes. I will also add a link to their website in the description below. They are slightly pricey, but they are just brilliant for walking all the grips on the bottom. And in hot weather, you really don't want to be wearing thick shoes. And I'm not doing anything that will require a hiking boot or anything like that. And for the bits of walking I do, these are brilliant because you can actually wear them in the water as well. So I think these are the ones that I'm going to take. The other one is for showers. I'm toying with the idea of taking a pair of flip flops as well. But in all honesty, I could wear these in the shower anyway. I do have another pair of these, which I will show you. As yet, I haven't decided which ones I'm going to take, but I will show you the other ones. I thought I lost them for a moment. So these are my other zero shoes. These are much thinner and they literally roll away to nothing. Um, these are the thong type flip flops. Whereas these ones you could wear socks with if you wanted. These ones are slightly thicker. I don't know. They've both got the same grips on the bottom. So they're both as good. I'll see how I feel when I come to put it in my bag but I have lots of choices for small, lightweight footwear. The other thing was a rain jacket. Now I have the Snug Pack Poncho and it is fantastic. Every time I wear this, I get so many comments. It covers me, it covers my backpack and it keeps me really dry. There are no leaks with this. I am not getting wet and it is so long. It covers my legs as well. The only thing is, it is a little chunky compared to other small ones. It does, when I say it's chunky, you can see it's not that big, but if it fits, I'm taking it. The other thing is whether or not to bring my aluminium um, water bottle, because this keeps drinks hot or cold for a lot of hours. It's got a nice drinking lid there. And most important, it has a hanging hook so that you can hang it with a carabiner off the back of your backpack. It is more weighty than the fold out ones, but when you're in Southeast Asia and the temperature is so hot, it is lovely to have a cool drink rather than drinking warm water. So I have gone that I am going to stick with my aluminium water bottle. My umbrella, the one I took with me last year, it has served me so well. I almost didn't take it with me, but really it was one of my most used items. So this year I have downsized. This is a lot lighter and it's a lot smaller. As you can see, it will fit in a pocket, no problem and I broke the hanging hook on my last one. So yeah, I am definitely taking this and it is good for um, UV and UPF up to 50. So that's great lying on a beach when you want to get the sun off of you or when you're walking around or when it's absolutely pouring down with rain. <laughs> This goes in there and I will hold my bottle or clip it on the outside. There you go. 